Yeah, hi everyone. So for a while now, I've been making videos that will help you increase your profit margin. Yes, let's say this is the margin of profit. I've been making videos that will help you increase this margin over the years or from say 2020 like i've been saying for a while the profit has been reducing like there are many factors that have been trying to reduce that profit margin for you but i've been making videos that will help you increase that profit margin and one of those ways is by increasing your broiler weight very quickly but there's something beyond increasing your broiler weight yes there's something beyond you just having a good weight in a good time no there's something beyond that and that is what i'll be showing you today yes you want to watch this video with all of your interest yes with a very keen interest you want to watch this video there's something beyond uh that weight and that is what i call your fcr cr fcr so what is fcr yeah can you help us with that FCR. Yeah, of course. FCR. FCR is um, Federal oh, Capital. Forget about Reservation. this guy. He doesn't know anything. So your FCR is your feed conversion ratio. Okay. Yes, is your feed conversion ratio. It's, it's a factor of how well have your birds been able to utilize their feed and convert it into meat. I call the broilers, for example, I call them meat making machines. So what all their job on your farm is just to eat feed and convert it into meat and give you body weight in the end. So how well have your birds utilized the feed, all of the feed that you have given them? And the simple way to calculate your FCR is with this simple formula, your FCR is equal to the total feed total feed you have used over the weight gain the weight gain and your weight gain is the final weight final weight when you are ready to sell or at any point in time when you are calculating this FCR final weight minus initial weight and that initial weight is the weight of the beds when they come in from the hatch or when they come on your farm. So that is the simple way to calculate your FCR. But there are key things you need to know about this FCR. The FCR can help you to choose the right feed for you. It can help you to know whether you are performing well on your farm. I'm going to show you everything in a bit. Everything in a bit. I really want to show you something good today. So your feed conversion ratio is what we are considered and some people say okay if you're able to give your birds four kg of feed at least they should give you two kg body weight that is four kg of feed as the weight fcr in that case four kg will give you two kg of feed and that is two fcr of two my dear fcr of two is poor yes it's poor so you want you want to ask me what fcr is good and i'm one thing about fcr is that the lower the better if you can get an fcr of 1.7 or even something coming downwards wow that is good that is good and that is what you want to try to get you don't want to go by two that's poor and this should help you select the kind of feed that you use for example just like i said this should help you select the kind of feed that you use and one other thing take this very important lesson right now your scr will tell you four things that is the feed quality how much quality is in that feed that you claim you used the feed quality to also tell you the cost effectiveness of the feed yes you know oftentimes you have to go for that expensive feed that more expensive feed because you want better result on your farm but then not all expensive feed will be good that is why you have to check for the cost effectiveness and one of the things you can use to check that is your fcr if your fcr is increasing 
that is you, you maybe you are getting 1.84 before and it's increasing to 1.86 man that fit is not good no matter how much you bought it so it's not good and it will also help you to check the health status health status of the bed of your bed it will help you to detect okay uh these beds okay are they fine because if they are not okay like you know your beds if they are not okay the fcr will not be impressive if your beds have coccidiosis for a long time for example the intestine will be compromised and they can't really convert feed into meat effectively the level of assimilation of nutrients would reduce so all that will mess up the health here and finally it tells you how well you have performed as a farmer or as a caregiver on the farm how well the performance performance of the farmer it tells you how well you have performed there are people who would not give their chickens water on time they wouldn't serve fresh water they would just give anything their people wouldn't attend to the health condition of their chickens on time it is when they best start dying that they will know okay there's a disease on the farm so all those things will impact your final results your scr which i advise you should look towards getting 1.7 or even something lower than that it's not easy to get something like that it's not easy but it's very possible it's very possible so don't go with the people that say okay two SCR of two that is you feed uh twice your feed is twice the uh kg of the live weight of the beds okay and finally before we do some calculation right now maybe this is one of the things you would gain from all that i have to tell you today before we do some calculation together so finally whenever you want to change to a new feed maybe you want to get a better performance like i've been saying everybody is hungry for that better performance we're all hungry for better performance so if you want to change your feed probably you've been doing uh 2000 birds that's broilers 2000 broilers or 500 broilers i advise you don't just change for all of your beds continue with what you are using except you are so sure of course maybe it's your close friend that tells you and you have seen how things go except you are sure if you are damn sure you can proceed to change all uh, at the same time <clears throat> but if you are not so sure if you want to check out things for yourself just take maybe you sample 50 beds with that new feed if your fcr before we are going to do the calculation the plain, plain calculation now if your fcr before was maybe 1.84 and you want to see if you can do better just take 50 beds try the new feed and at the end you do your calculation if your fcr comes downwards don't forget the lower the better if your fcr with the 50 beds is lower than 1.84 maybe you are getting 1.79 then you can say okay of course the feed must have been better well all things being equal let's assume that your performance your own performance as a caregiver is the same and the health status of the birds also they are okay so we would say that feed is worth taking is worth trying maybe you can continue with it so let's just do a brief calculation so that you master the art and you know how to calculate and this is one of the reasons why you also need your farm record your farm record is very important you have to take the weight you know i did a video i will leave the link here and in the description down below i did a video when i mentioned the importance i mentioned the importance of you weighing your birds per week it is very important i don't know why people will be doing brother farming and they won't be weighing their birds so this is one of the important so your fcr like i said earlier is the total feed total feed given to the beds over final weight of beds minus initial weight so this is the weight when they came to your farm as they were chicks this is the weight uh when you are about to sell at any point when you are calculating the um 
FCR and this is the total fee that they are waiting from day one to that point when you are calculating. So what we want to do now, the other advice I'm giving is whenever you are doing something like this, I want you to bring down the number to one. Maybe the final weight, minus initial weight, everything. After getting the weight of the bed, bring it down to one. Well, you, this is what I mean. If you have 1,000 bed, for example, and maybe the average weight of every all of those beds, maybe you are having, let's say, 2 kg. Let's say you are having 2.06 kg. Let's say you have 2.06 kg as your average weight. Or you have 2,060 kg total weight of all of the beds. Total weight. So you know for one will not be over 1,000, which is 2.06 kg. Or 2,060 grams. It's still the same thing that is for one of the best so this is bringing it down to one so that is 2.06 kg as the total weight of the bed so the initial weight let's assume is 60 grams so you remove it from that 206 grams minus 60 grams that is 2000 grams which is equal to 2 kg 1000 grams is 1 kg so that is that we know that so let's say the case study we have now and let's say you have used 3.4 kg of feet on each bed let's say you use 3400 kg total for the 1000 beds 1000 beds and um the initial the final weight final weight of bed final weight is two point uh is two thousand sixty kg initial weight of all of them is six hundred kg that will be 60 kg, sorry. If they are 60 grams, that will be 60 kg. You know, 60 grams times 1,000 will be 60 kg. So our calculation now, FCR, is this. But if you bring it down to one bed, we will have done all those things. So if you bring it down to one bed, this one will be 3.4 kg over if you bring this one down to one bed, so that is you divide by 1,000, you have 2.06 kg minus this one, <clears throat> 60 grams, that's 0 0.06 kg. This will be 3.4 over 2 kg. And this will give us 1.7. There's no unit for this guy here. There's no unit for FCR, it's just this. So that is 1.7, which is good. That is good. So that's the simple calculation. Again, I'll write out how to calculate it so you don't forget. I know this rough calculation might have uh, confused you somewhere. Again, the way to calculate it is total what am i writing is total feed over weight gain and this weight gain is always your final weight as at the time you are calculating minus initial weight at day one when they came to your farm.
So that is that about FCR. It is very important. You need to keep your farm record in order to be able to get something like this. So once again, this is DIY Agri, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So if you are new on this channel, I want you to go right there and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss videos like this. I've made several videos about group promoters or even how to maximize your profit as a broiler farmer. I've done several videos on layer farming you can see all my videos you can see them so you just go and subscribe and you are going to enjoy every moment you spend on my channel so also click the notification button so that you always get my new uploads so thank you very much for watching goodbye